Now, around the world where you've been, it's been glaciated, especially mountainous areas, you have some very distinctive moraines. In fact, they come out from a mountain valley. You find these around the Eastern Sierra Mountains, around the Wind River Mountains. The best example that I've ever seen is the Northeastern Wallawa Mountains, where you have a horseshoe-shaped moraine, an end moraine about 100 feet tall, and lateral moraine 600 feet tall, very sharp looking that come out and inside Lake Wallawa has filled it up. Right here we're standing on a terminal moraine from the ice sheet over the northern Rockies that came out of the Sun River Canyon right over there. But right in the middle here it broke through a lot of times uh, moraines, pond lakes, and this lake probably broke through right in here and this is a Willow Creek and that they found that a great place to put a reservoir where it broke through and so it's Willow Creek Reservoir near Augusta, Montana. We are in the lower canyon of the Clarks Fork River before it enters the Bighorn Basin. The Clarks Fork River runs between the Absaroka Mountains on the south and the Beartooth Mountains on the north which were glaciated during the Ice Age right after the flood. Probably a channel of the ice came down the Clarks Fork Valley and move to this position right here where we see a terminal moraine. And then as the ice retreated, it formed a lake in here. And the lake overtopped the moraine over on the south part there and sent a flood down the valley where you can see all kinds of big, huge, rounded rocks from that outwash flood. 